Open Adobe Illustrator. Create a new file. Set the width to 80 millimeters, the height to 100 millimeters. Open Advanced Options and make sure the color mode is set to RGB color. Click on Create. Go to the File menu, select Place. Find your monster file that you created in Digital Warriors. Select it and click on Place. Place it onto your document. If any of your palettes are in the way, just move, into the, move them to the side. I now want to resize my monster so it fills my artboard. I'm going to zoom out a little bit by selecting the zoom tool, holding the Alt key down and zooming out a little. Go to the selection tool and using the handles just resize and move your drawing around until it nearly fills your artboard. You may wish to distort it slightly. Remember using the corner anchors or holding the shift key down while you're pulling on an anchor keeps it in proportion. I'm pretty happy with that. I'm going to save my file. File, save as, use your last name, monster. Save. Add a new layer. Call the new layer cutting. And we're going to draw a line around the outside of our monster. That will be our cutting line. Change your stroke color to RGB red. 255-0-0. Okay. Change the fill color to nothing. So when your color palette comes up like it did here, you can check 25500 RGB red and nothing. I can close that palette now. I'm going to use the pen tool to draw some lines. I'm going to zoom in onto the mouth area first. Using the pen tool, I'm going to draw the teeth in. So in this point, I'm just clicking at each point where I need to turn. To create the curve, if I click and hold down with my mouse, I can actually manipulate the line so it becomes a curve. And again, I've got handles that appear and I can gently manipulate those and then release when I'm happy with the angle. I can go back to angles again here. And again, click and hold my mouse down, manipulate, click and manipulate, click and manipulate, and then click. And I'm back to the beginning. So if I turn layer one off that has my drawing on it, I can have a look at my design. And there's a few little areas I want to modify, for example, here. So turn the drawing back on again. Zoom into that area. Go to the Direct Selection tool, click on the anchor point you wish to modify, and now I can move that anchor point around just to smooth that line off a little. Again, turn the layer 1 off to check, and I'm much happier with that. Control Alt 0 to zoom out. I now want to do the outline for my monster. So I'm going to go to the pen tool again and I'm going to start on some more angular areas. Click and hold. Click. That one I'm not happy with. I'm going to control Z to undo and it gives you an opportunity to redo it. Some areas are very angular, they're easy to do. Other areas, it takes a little practice. 
to get your angles perfectly figured out. Again, I'm not happy with my placement. Control Z to undo and have another go. So I've done a total outline. Control Alt Zero zooms it in. Turn your layer one off just to check it. There's a few little bits I want to modify. I'm not totally happy with this area here. So I'm going to modify mine, make it better and come back to you. Control Alt Zero. So I'm really happy with how that looks now. Make sure you Control S to save. We are now going to add in some slots for our earbuds to go into. And the slots will sit here and here. To do that, on our cutting layer, we're going to draw a rectangle making sure that the stroke is 255 zero, 0 for our RGB red and our fill is no fill. Select your rectangle and go to the properties tab. So checking the transform area we want to make the width 2.2 millimeters. We want to make the height of our rectangle 25 millimeters. Select the rectangle and move the rectangle so that it's over the eye area. And we want to manipulate that rectangle so that it sits at an angle and the end of the rectangle sits about where the highlight in the eye is. Once you've got it in position, Select the rectangle again, hold the shift key down to select your path that you drew for the outline of the monster. Go to the window tab, select pathfinder and you'll find it should be down here or it may come up as a floating layer up here. I'm going to go to minus front from back. Select that. If you go back to your layers and turn off layer 1 you'll now notice that you have a slot in your monster that goes through to the eyeball. Turn layer 1 back on again. Let's draw another rectangle. Draw the rectangle, go to the properties, change its width to 2.2 millimeters, change its height to 25 millimeters selection tool, select the rectangle, move the rectangle, rotate the rectangle so the end of the rectangle sits around about where the highlight in your monster's eye is. Hold the shift key down, select the monster outline, go to the pathfinder, minus front from back. 
go back to your layers palette turn layer 1 off you can turn layer 1 back on again now let's add in another new layer and this time we'll call it etch zoom into the mouth area use the hand tool to reposition we're going to add some character lines in here select the pen tool and start drawing a line now this line is the wrong color so what I'm going to do now is go to my color picker double click on the outline change the R to 0 and the B to 255 click OK so now it's blue I want to modify this line I'm going to zoom in a little closer direct selection tool select my anchor point go to properties convert make sure you're happy with the position zoom out a little and then we're going to draw some more lines pretty happy with that direct selection tool go to my layers turn layer 1 off I'm going to make a few modifications I've missed a bit of line here so I need to add in going from here to here and I want to modify these lines to make sure that they all line up so again I'm going to zoom in use the hand tool to pan across pretty happy with that go back to my layers turn layer 1 back on again and now I need to finish the other side of the mouth so I'm going to go to the pen tool start here click and hold click and hold and click turn layer 1 off to check happy with that turn layer 1 back on again control alt 0 and I have got the top of my mouth sorted out I now want to go to the bottom of my mouth and you can see sometimes the pen tool stays connected so I just clicked on the selection tool to disconnect from the pen tool so now I want to zoom in down to the bottom part of the mouth I'm going to create a line that goes from here to here. So pen tool. Pen is still attached. Direct selection and it's unattached. Control Alt 0. Turn layer 1 off. And I now have my cutting and my etching lines. I need to add in a few more details. Um, just the nose. So let's turn layer 1 and back on again. Let's zoom right in up here. And this time to help me I'm going to use the ellipse tool. And draw in a little ellipse here. And another little ellipse here. I want to modify those a little bit so click on the direct selection tool. Find your anchor points and you can move those around. Once you're happy with the shapes, control all zero, turn off layer one. In fact, you can delete layer one. And you now have your laser cut file ready to go. Control A to select everything. In the properties palette, you need to change the stroke weight to 0 0.001, enter. Save that file, control S and email it to your teacher.